A woman shot and killed all because of an argument over a bowling ball. Police say they know the shooter and are waiting for him to turn himself in. What to do, Esco gang? It's your girl Jazzy back again with another video. Um, today we're talking about young Thug's baby mother, y'all. It's sad to say that she has passed away um, due to fatally being shot at a bowling alley. She went there to attend a, a, a birthday party and it was a dispute that happened over a bowling ball. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead on and let y'all get into the story. I'm gonna let y'all view the news clips before I just start, you know, breaking it down. I'm pretty sure y'all already heard about it last night because I am a little late with this video, but I wanted to gather all the information before coming forth and making this video because y'all, this really sad in my heart because I really couldn't understand like, why was she gunned down over just a bowling ball, y'all? So tune in. Tom Jones is live right now in Southwest Atlanta at the Metro Fund Center. Tom, police are really bothered by this particular loss of life, right? Yeah, Fred, no fun here last night. Police talk all the time about the need for people to put their weapons down and solve their differences with words, uh, practice better conflict resolution. Police say none of that happened last night here at the Fund Center during a birthday party, and now a young woman's life is over. Atlanta Homicide Commander Ralph Wolfolk has investigated many murders during his time with the department, but this one seemed to shake him to his core. A young lady has lost her life tonight as a result of an argument over a bowling ball. Police say the 31-year-old woman got into an argument with a man just after 11 at the Metro Fund Center on Metropolitan Parkway. Police say the gunman killed her. We talk about conflict resolution time and time again, and once again, this is an escalating dispute in which a young lady has lost her life over a bowling ball. Can't say that enough over a bowling ball. Police say they have great uh, video surveillance of the suspect. They have ballistics evidence, and they say people who saw what happened are talking. So they say it's a matter of time before uh, this person is captured, so they are urging him to turn himself in, Fred. Man, that's really sad to hear she went to go attend someone's birthday, end up losing her life. That is crazy. And it's even more crazy that the dude was so upset about a fucking bowling ball that he waited outside the damn venue for 20 minutes. Like, come on, man. Like, ain't nothing that serious for you to be mad about, especially not no bowling ball, for you to come and take my life. You know what I'm saying? Over this, over a small dispute. And then on top of that, you on fucking video. So you might as well go and turn yourself in. Watch this next clip. Woman is dead after a celebration at a bowling alley took a turn. Our Tori Cooper is live this morning. She's at police headquarters. And Tori, you're learning a little bit more about who police are looking for. Grivier, that's right. At the very end of my conversation with homicide detectives, they told me that the suspect that they're looking for this morning is a man and that they may have caught him on surveillance cameras at the bowling alley. Now, let's take you back to this bowling alley. This is the Metro Fun Center where this tragic scene all unfolded while parents and kids were around inside just trying to have a good time. Turns out a celebration was the reason this group was gathering here at this bowling alley. And now we know that a 31 year old woman who attended this party got into an argument over a bowling ball with another individual and a shooting occurred inside and she was shot to death. Now police tell us that they are very confident that they will be able to find a suspect and this evidence is going to play a key part in Man, y'all, this really a sad story to cover. You know, my heart goes out to Young Thug, his family, his children. My heart goes out to Miss Jackson. You know, she lost her life over a bowling ball. She was just trying to go out and celebrate her friend's birthday. And it's, it's really a sad situation, y'all. And I really just want to know, like, what made you that angry over a bowling ball? for you to end someone else's life. And it's even more sad that her children have to grow up without her. Like, that's a hard pill to swallow. Y'all leave, leave me y'all thoughts in the comments. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all so much for getting me the 3K subscribers. I can't, hey man, that made my heart glow.